Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with uh, chapter 1 of Fundamental Applied Mathematics. I'm on page 22, exercise 1c, and I'm going to start doing question 1. Now, to be honest, a lot of what I'm doing in, in this particular exercise is very similar to what we've done in previous videos. So I'll do the first few slowly and then I'll pick it up. So basically you're given uh, sets of triangles and you're asked to find the, the, part, the, the values or the magnitudes of the sides on the angles that are not given. So, part one, you're asked, you're given C, B, A, you're given H, okay, so this one here, remember you have Sakatoa, S, O, H, C, A, H, T, O, A, sine opposite over adjacent, cosine adjacent over, wrong, sine opposite over hypotenuse, Cosine opposite adjacent over hypotenuse, excuse me, and tangent opposite over adjacent. I can't even read. I can't even read my own acronym. Anyway, so let's say so that we'll call this theta and this one alpha just to uh, just to illustrate. So we're going to go sine theta is equal to what? It's going to be sine theta opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite from theta, this one here, which is uh, BC or CB. Okay, now this, the, remember the straight brackets means the magnitude or the length, and it's that of the hypotenuse H. Say cos theta is equal to AB, the magnitude of AB over H, and tan theta is equal to what? Tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So in this case, it would be the magnitude of the length CB uh, over the magnitude of the length AB. All right. Now also, just to illustrate, look at alpha, right, so in this case, so sine, excuse me, sine alpha is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, so that's the length AB over, over H, cosine alpha is equal to the length CB over the hypotenuse, the magnitude of it, and tan alpha is equal to the opposite over adjacent, so AB over uh, CB, AB, CB, the magnitude of both. And that means the length of the side AB, the length of the side AB is equal to H times cosine theta. The length of the side CB, CB is equal to H times the sine of theta. But also, the side AB is equal to H times the sine of alpha, and the side CB is equal to H times the cosine of alpha. So you could redraw the, the, you could redraw your triangle as follows. Now these are lengths, okay? It, these are magnitudes, and in this case we're talking about lengths, okay? So there's alpha. Uh, we call it this theta. So what we can say is right. So we had C, we had B, and we had A. All right, and we called BC. His uh, BC here is H times the sine of theta, okay, because we put up just, that's just a bit of algebra, BC equals H, H sine theta, H sine of theta, and is equal to what? So CB, find it here, H times cos alpha, H cos alpha. This one here is H cos theta, and H sine alpha, and this is H. So to summarize, if you have a triangle, you should just be able to automatically put in the, the corresponding values of the magnitudes of the lengths of the sides. So this one here is H sine theta, because it's opposite, you know what, it's going to be sine. This one is H cosine theta, you know, because it's adjacent, and therefore it's cosine. If you call this one alpha, this is therefore H sine alpha because it's opposite of alpha, and this one is h cosine of alpha, because it is opposite of alpha. So that's question, or question 1.1. So what I'm going to do, sorry about that now, I'm going to do question uh, 1.4, because to be honest they're all the same. So this is question 1.4. And let me draw it here, so we have a right angle triangle, is it normal? Yep, yeah, a right angle triangle like that. 
we have an angle of theta, right angle. I'm going to call this off as well. I know it's not actually given in the in the question itself. And we have the corners as follows. And we have H. And in the exact same fashion as the last one, we know that here's theta. Therefore, this is opposite of theta. Therefore, this angle, then the length AB is equal to H sine theta. This one, therefore, is H cosine of theta. Now, this is alpha. The, the side opposite alpha is this one. Opposite, you go for sine, H sine alpha. This one here is adjacent to alpha. Oh, sorry about that now. You can see that H sine of alpha, therefore this is H cosine of alpha. And uh, that's the answer to that question. So that's quite simple. You should literally be able to do it as quickly as I did it there. It's quite simple. Question two. This is, it says all parts to be done without finding the value of A. Assume that A is between 0 and 90. So question one is as follows. If you can see that, that's grand. Tan A, sorry, tan, that was right. Tan A is equal to 5 over 12. Find cosine and sine. So we draw right angle to triangle. Okay, now, Sakatoa. That means that tan is opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. So, uh, let's call it, doesn't matter which one we call it, which. So to say this is theta, or sorry, this is A. Sorry about that now. This is A, the angle A. Well then, you know that, sorry, <laughs> excuse me. This is opposite, this is adjacent. Therefore this is 12, this is five. Therefore to get the magnitude of the hypotenuse we use Pythagoras. Pythagoras says that h squared is equal to 5 squared plus 12 squared which is 25 plus 144 and that's 169 which is 13 for the value of h. Uh, let me think now that's h squared so therefore h is equal to 13 because h is equal to the square root of 169. All right. What else? Uh, so that's question two, part one. So what about I do two, part four? Like I say, these are all similar. There's no point doing all of them. Once you understand the concept, that's that's all you need. The most important thing about any of these things is understanding the concept. So in this one, you're given that sine of a is equal to nine over what? Forty-one. And you're to find cosine of a. Now, so we draw our, as normal, we draw our right angle to triangle. We know it doesn't matter where you, where you put it, to be honest, it's in your angle. So I'm going to say that this is A, you might want to call that B, it doesn't matter at all. So, from Sakatoa, so H-C-A-H-T-O-A, we know that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is here, there's hypotenuse. So the opposite is 9, the hypotenuse is 41. Therefore, 41 squared is equal to, we're going to call this the adjacent, a squared plus 9 squared. So, a squared is equal to 41 squared minus 80, 81, we'll say. So, a squared is equal to oh, it's 41 squared, 1681 minus 81, a squared is equal to 1600, a is equal to square root of 1600. A is equal to 400. Is it 400? Sorry now. <laughs> yeah, or 40, 400. Where was I going? Yeah, I gotta say my uh, my hearth isn't great at all.